Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here talking about the Sadie's SA905 gaming headset. This is a USB gaming headset for PC or Mac. You plug it into the USB port, and you can see the headset has these soft foam cups for the ear, and this little plastic mic that juts out at the left over here. Now, one thing I would say about this headset is it feels kind of a little plasticky, and it's slightly a little bit flimsy. I mean, it is a budget headset, so the plastic feels a little a little cheapy, but it does have a nice band that adjusts up and down over the head and over the hat very well, and the ear cup is very light on the head. It doesn't compress or crush the ears at all. You can see with this Sadie's Gaming headset, it has LED lights on each ear that just kind of glow and cycle through colors. There's no adjustment on those. It's just a nice little kind of glow effect that if you're playing um, the computer at night and the room's all dark, it adds a little ambient glow around you. There is no on and off switch or control panel on the cord itself, although the cord is braided and it's a plastic coated braid, so it's very, very much resistant to twisting. You can see that you could roll it up really tight and it doesn't really twist. I really like plastic coated braided cables. They're better than just plain braided cables and they're better than those cheap plastic cords. So plastic coated braided cables are my favorite and it does have plastic coated braided cables. Now on the headset itself, and again, I'm using the mic here on the headset, so if it gets far away, you can see there's the volume control and there's the vibration button. The vibration button is to add a little bit of extra bass or simulated bass, which makes the headphones vibrate a little bit when the sound gets into the bass range. It's, I can tell you, it, it sounds a little buzzy, I don't really feel it even though it says vibration. It adds just a tiny little bit of impact. I wouldn't say that's that's a really, you know, an impressive feature. I've seen other headphones with a vibration bass, and I've never been too impressed with the vibration bass, but it does add just a little bit of extra oomph to bass, even though it's still, you know, it's a decent headset for the price. Uh, sounds good, playing Heroes of the Storm, playing Hearthstone, doing some live stream with it, and I'm gonna do another live stream soon with it. Overall, the Sadie's SA905, I do like it better than the Sadie's SA920. I think it could use a little bit of a better mic and a longer mic that's adjustable. Um, so the, the mic, again, the, it feels very hollow and plastic. That's about the only thing I would say about the headset. Ear cushions are good. The headset and the band is good. The mic part itself it just feels really plastic like a toy. That's about the only thing I could say about it that's negative. Other than that, this is the Sadie's SA905 gaming headset works pretty well. It does give you ambient sound when listening to games. And when I say ambient sound, that's basically virtual 7.1. So what it does is it basically has a sound card in here. It's a stereo headset, but it uses a sound card to delay sounds to simulate 7.1 sounds. So it makes you hear things that are behind you in the game as if they're behind you. But it's really a trick. It's not true 7.1. Um, it uses sound delay tricks to make it feel like things are behind you and hear things. So when I was playing Guild Wars 2, like I was with my other virtual a 7.1 headset, you know, you turn around, I can hear flies buzzing behind me, I can feel um, blacksmith hammers banging behind me. Now, for first-person shooter games, the sound delay does make it feel uh, sound like footsteps behind you, but because I think there's virtual logic going on, I think it might have a like a very, very slight delay. So for someone who's really sensitive, like a, a Call of Duty expert or somebody who's just like a professional FPS gamer, and they depend on hearing that footstep the split second somebody's near them, I think that might be a little, that latency might make a difference. So I'm not sure Virtual 7.1 is the way to go there, but for the most users, Virtual 7.1 is fine. So again, this is the Sadie's SA905 USB gaming headset. It's a really nice Virtual 7.1 gaming headset for the price. Pretty much works with any PC or Mac. Just plug in USB and play your games and you're good to go. And last but not least with the Sadie's SA905 gaming headset, this is me with a mic boost at 100% with AJC turned off. So there's an AJC uh, option in sound. This is AJC turned off and this is mic boost 100%. So the mic should sound much clearer and louder now. So again, thank you for watching. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.